Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So today we are doing my Bath and Body Works favorite winter fragrances. Now this has been requested since last month, but I decided to do it today. So I'm going to do a series like I do with all of these videos. So we're going to start with Bath and Body Works. So there's quite a bit here. I have a lot of favorites and yeah. So the first fragrance that I want to mention is A Thousand Christmas Wishes. This is very unique. It It's a very, this is a blend of pomegranate prosecco, sweet elderberries, star jasmine, and sugared birds. Now, I love anything with jasmine and pomegranate so I knew like you can smell yeah you can smell the pomegranate and it's it almost has like a almost like a Malo wine type of scent to it. it it it's very it's very interesting it almost smells like pomegranate wine with a hint of like tremolo pomegranate and it has like a wine scent to it it's pretty interesting i love wine champagne fragrances and it's very it's very sophisticated fragrance it is very long lasting um i can put this on and i'll smell it for at least two, three hours. It, it's, it is so good. But I've been trying to hold on to this for a while now. I'm not ready to just use it up just yet, but it's, it's a very pretty scent if you like wine scented type of fragrances. Next is A Thousand Wishes. This one was actually introduced to me back in like 2016 this one of the oh it smells so good one of the employees at Bath and Body Works pulled me to a side and said hey you gotta try this this is, it was like on display. They had a thousand wishes like everywhere. And they were really pushing this like, you know, as like one of the best at the time. And I, I believe it. I still love it. And um, it's a very pretty, very mature type of sophisticated, more mature type of scent. I, um, I love it. This is the older packaging. Um, I think I like this one better than the, um, other bottle, but when it comes to fragrances, I want the fragrance itself rather than the packaging because, you know, I care more about smelling good and this is one of my favorites, um, but this one I do want to use up by the end of, you know, probably end of December, January. I want to start using this. I did start it and I do want to get the newer packaging and the body cream. So, um, yeah, this one is from 2018. So I'm, I'm, I gotta use it up. Next is Winter White Jasmine. That jasmine note is so pretty. Um, it's a very, it's a very light, soft fragrance. And then you get the, you get a hint of like a whipped vanilla. That's what I'm getting with this. Whipped vanilla and a soft jasmine note. It's very pretty. It, I think this would make a really nice like spring type of scent, um, but it's it's very 
it's very pretty i did start this one as well and i wanted to use it but i i used up the body cream a while back um because of that vanilla no anything with vanilla the scent since tends to go bad like within like three to six months so i've been holding on to that for a while but that's another fragrance that i'm i'm gonna have to start using um i have snowflakes and cashmere this one is a really pretty musky gourmand type of scent now when i first smell it it kind of reminds me of like a play-doh type of scent i, I know it's kind of weird i don't know i mean that's what i'm picking up but when I apply it, you get that soft, musky, gourmand uh, scent note. And it's a really pretty scent. I just wish that it, it didn't smell like Play-Doh. This is from 2018 as well. So maybe that's why it's starting to turn. But this one I'm currently using. And I started this like a little while ago. And um, I'm hoping to finish it up i also have the body cream too that i want to use up as well um so that's that i also have forever red i love forever red i have three of these i just used up well i had four of them i used up the old packaging um and now i have three left um i i'm gonna use up one for winter maybe in january and I'll just do like a January theme because of my birthstone is garnet. So I love the color red, burgundy. It has almost like a like a burgundy type of shade to it. So I might go all red for the month of January and just use up products um, that are red or um, scented. Um, but this one is... This one is so pretty. It has, you get that strong pomegranate and I think this has raspberry in it, but it's, it's a hint, it's light. It's not where it, it's a soft, sweet scent. Um, this one isn't long lasting at all. I wish it did. I, I know the last one that I had, I had to constantly reapply it because it just, it wasn't staying on. It would just fade away after like 10 minutes. So you would have to use a lot of this. Um, I might try to see if I can get the perfume because I do like Forever Red. It's, it's a really pretty scent. And I've been holding this for a while. So I need to start using um, this up. But it's a nice, sweet, fruity light scent it's not heavy at all um, i also have coconut mint drop now coconut summer but it has that mint peppermint peppermint that's what it is and white musk um white musk is i love the white musk from the body Collegy. um it's a nice fresh scent but the coconut and the peppermint it's good i like coconut mint drop i love it it's a very pretty sweet scent i can't stand twisted peppermint it the balsam in there just nauseates me and i've tried i've tried to use it and it just I can't get past that balsam no it just I get a headache but coconut mint drop is one that you know I like the most and if I can find more of it I would pick it up um, I wish that I bought more but um, yeah I'm glad that I that I got it in the fragrance mist I also have joy this is sugared snickerdoodle I like the cookie type of fragrances snickerdoodle spice creamy vanilla sugared musk i you know this kind of reminds me of 
This is almost like a repackage of Christmas cookies. Sugared snickerdoodle. Sugared snickle doodle, if I can speak. Smells like Christmas cookies. I, I, I don't know. It smells exactly the same. This is, this a, a, a repackage. I don't mind. I don't mind when they do that, especially if it's a scent that I really enjoy. Um, but yeah, creamy, cookie dough, almond, biscotti, caramel words. I don't like the scent of caramel. I don't. Um, it does not work with my body chemistry. It just gives off like a plastic, like, type of scent. Like artificial, like plastic type of note. But... Yeah, the spice note in in the sugared snickerdoodle is very prominent, but the the almond note is is prominent in this one too. Um, it does. It's like a total repackage, except the spice note. This one doesn't have that spice note, like this one. But it's a total repackage. If they took out the spice note, like it'll be like the same to me. I I don't mind. I like it. I I love them both, and it's a great scent. I like the cookie scent. So that's good. Um, winter candy apple is my favorite winter scent of all time, except cashmere glow. Like no, cashmere glow. No. Snowflakes and cashmere. Cashmere glow is good too. It's, it's a good fall scent, um, but it could be used for winter. But snowflakes and cashmere is a really pretty scent. Yeah, this is like a sweet apple with a hint of cinnamon. And it's so good. It kind of smells like cinnamon apples. Like who, who doesn't? love cinnamon apples now i like the fragrance i just don't like the um I, don't, I just don't like the cinnamon apple in the aromatherapy it's very heavy and it's very headache inducing it irritates my allergies anything in candle form or uh the plugins i just i can't i just can't use but if they put it in like body care form i love it i can wear it it doesn't irritate me and this is a really pretty apple scent i think i like the red apple fragrances more than the green apple but this is my absolute favorite winter scent and um yeah it remains in my favorites um next is the santa's blueberry shortbread i love the blueberry fragrances as well um this is very gourmand it kind of smells like a blueberry muffin well it does smell like a blueberry muffin it's so good I I just and it's warm too. It's like a warm gourmand type of scent. It's very good. It's sweet and it just smells so good. I I can't get enough of this. I think this is like my second one, right? I think I have two of these. If I don't, I'm definitely gonna buy it. If they have it in, in the semi annual, I would pick it up. Um, I. I was meaning to grab two. I grabbed one because I thought it would be enough, but now that I have to start using it, I, I, I actually want another one. So I might just pick, I might pick up another. Last is coconut cream pie. This is toasted coconut flakes, caramel custard, golden pie crust. Um, like I mentioned before, the caramel note is, is kind of iffy for me. But there's just something about this that it just smells it just smells so good. Um it, it has like a salted caramel custard coconut scent. It's very heavy of the caramel. So um it's good. It's not something that I would want to wear every single day. It's not. Um this is more of like you know, when I, when I feel like s 
smelling sweet or um, I want something a little gourmand, um, this would be perfect um, for that time of need. But it's, you gotta like coconut in order to like something like that. It's very heavy. Um, that custard, no, it's, it's, it's a little heavy, but, um, I do enjoy it. So that's it for my favorites for winter. Thank you so much for your video crust. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I have more coming. So thanks so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.